everybody. Welcome back to the podcast, My View on the View, where I make the views table relatable. Y'all, I've been thinking about you. I got a lot to talk to you about. Come on in here. Let's get started. Come on. Okay, guys, I am literally sitting in my car (laughs) talking to (laughs) y'all. I just came out of Starbucks. My favorite Starbucks, they don't have a drive through which is really crazy. Um, I mean, like, it's really crazy. I think most Starbucks have a drive through unless they're part of, like, a store or something like that. But anyway, so I have to go in. And um, (laughs) the lady thought I was so weird because I was like, I want a, a medium green tea plain, nothing. You know, she was like, oh, you don't want any sweeteners? No, ma'am. You don't want it. You know, they don't sell hot green tea at this one too, which is really crazy. Um, I don't want any eyes. I had to go down the list, y'all. I don't want this because she was like, surely you want something in there. And I'm like, no, ma'am. I just want straight, plain green tea. Give me, I don't want any that y'all have pre-sweetened. I don't want, you know. And she was like, "Mm, okay. I mean, she even like was acting as if she had trouble making it. And I'm like, surely I'm not the only person in the city who is asking for a plain green tea. You know, I have my own personal things I'm going to add to it that I know are safe for me to have. Um, But anyway, so yeah, but listen, guys, I've been thinking a lot about y'all. I know I haven't been on and we've not connected in several days, but guys, I'm going to tell y'all something. Listen, honey, child, I've been having me some fun. Okay. Um, I really believe in living life and I will tell y'all something. Uh, since my uh, mama died um, in 2020, I have really gained a new appreciation for time and how for me at my age, I've already lived more years than I probably have to live. You know, it'd be great for me to, you know, be optimistic and say, hey, I'm going to live to be, you know, whatever, 99, 100, like some of these uh, centurions, they make it to 100, 105. But if I'm being realistic, you know, chances are for me at my age, I've already lived more years than I have to live. And I want to enjoy every moment. And I know that life has challenges. uh, And that's just a part of, you know, being the the human being experience. But for me, I have been having me some fun, child. Okay, so that's why I had men on here. I've been enjoying my life. Um, But also, if you're with me on the secondary channel, you know that I've been really following personally this uh, this this national case of rapper Cardi B, who uh, sued successfully in federal court a YouTuber who, uh, whose name is Latasha Kibi. And I was following that case um, because we all know as YouTubers, because that case set a precedent, that it was going to affect all YouTubers across the U- YouTube sphere, as they call it. And so uh, now YouTube is going to have to strictly enforce their terms of service, which they have not been doing. You know, a lot of people have been getting away with a lot of things. Um, and so it's just not going to be like that anymore, which I'm down for that, y'all. I'm okay with following the rules. Like, I don't have a problem with it. I've seen some YouTubers who are like, oh, she's ruining it, and ruining, ruining it excuse me, for everybody. And I'm like, I feel like people have that attitude or people are probably already breaking the rules and their own way. No, listen, guys, if we're going to be YouTubers on this platform, we have to follow their terms of service. This doesn't belong to us. It's theirs. It's like if you come to my house and I ask you, don't smoke, (laughs) even though you're a smoker, I'm asking you not to smoke. And if you come in and smoke, I have to ask you to leave. You know, this is my house. I set the rules. And so for me, I I don't have a problem with whatever changes YouTube is going to make. So I made one podcast over there about that for the people who were following that story. But really, guys, I'm telling you, I've just been trying to just enjoy life. So anyway, but I was thinking about y'all yesterday and I was going to try to come on yesterday, but I can't remember. I think I took a nap, (laughs) something like that. I can't remember. So anyway, so I was thinking about y'all. So I thought, let me do it right now while I'm sitting here uh, in the parking lot before I just get on with the rest of my day. So let's talk about Lisa Lane because that's what I want to talk to y'all about. Okay. Now, let me be clear because I don't want anyone to misconstrue what I'm saying here. I don't have any problem with Lisa. Like, you know, I think she's very intelligent. I think that, you know, she, um, you know, um, is a shining star in her own right. I mean, that girl worked for everything she has. Every job, every uh, step upward on the ladder, she worked for it. She worked her butt off for it. Uh, she's a mom. She's a wife. So I don't, I don't have anything against her in terms of her being a public person. But, you know, she's been at the table this week. And, you know, tomorrow's, she's going to be with us tomorrow, too. And, um, you know, she was there with us, what, a few months ago for Flashback Friday. And I will tell you guys, I still feel the same way about Lisa Ling as I felt back in the day when she first was on the show. I felt like she did a great job, but I felt like her personality 
was a little bit too closed off for this type of job. I, I've always felt like that Lisa shines better when she's doing those shows that she's known for, where she's the only host and she's traveling to remote places or um, I think she does something like some cooking show or something like that, something doing uh, involving food, I should say. Um, and I'm not sure what the ratings are for that. But for me, y'all, I don't think, I think you have to match your personality with what you pursue to do in life. And if you have a more closed, introverted, um, loner type personality, which there's nothing wrong with that, right? Um, but if that's the kind of personality you have, and then you try to go function in a job where you need an effusive personality, a very extroverted personality, you just don't do well. You know, it's very stressful to try to be what you're not. And I'm not down with that, y'all. So although she's been doing a really great job this week, she's made a lot of good points. Matter of fact, you know, I've still been following the things online because I'm a blogger about the show, even though I've not been on with y'all. And I will tell you that several things she said has trended, you know, several times when she uh, countered some of the things the women were saying is trended online, which is really great. I mean, listen, Sarah's been there for how long? And Sarah never trends. You know, not that you should be trying to trend, but what I'm saying is when you're adding value to the conversation, you will trend. You know, when you are really firm on what it is you're saying, you will trend. I mean, it's just the way this show is, is, is set up. So at any rate, you know, Sarah's kind of a get, go along to get along person. Um, she's kind of, she's never going to rock the boat. We've touched on this before. Uh, she's going to make sure her opinions are very safe because she doesn't want to offend anybody. Listen, girl, you can't listen, girl, you are getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to come tell people what you think for the love of God, do it. And you're going to have to be like joy and Sonny and Anna and Whoopi. let the chip, chips fall where they may. You can't please everybody. And sure, there are going to be a lot of people that disagree with your opinion, but that's the nature of this type of job. When you, when your job is to tell people, this is what I think you should know that not everyone's going to like it and they're not going to like you for it. And you got to be okay with that. You know, so anyway, so I've been watching Lisa and like I said, I've been enjoying her, but I've just been thinking if they were to give this job to Lisa, she, it would, I don't think they would fire her again like they did the first time, but I don't think she would stay long guys. Like I'm talking maybe a season because I think she probably better enjoys doing those other shows where she doesn't have to compete in a conversation with anybody. She's the only host. And so I think if she were to get lured by, uh, uh, or if they were to just kind of wave something in front of her, some other network, she'd go with it. You know, now Lisa is older now. She's got kids that are, um, I don't think her kids are teenagers yet, but she's older. And so when you get older, you don't always want to be, you know, traipsing all around the world, trying to chase down stories. You know, you want something like the view where they only work a few hours a day, uh, you go home after your few hours and you've got pretty much the majority of the day to yourself, you know. Now, you're supposed to be doing all that research and reading and preparing for the next day's shows. But as we know, not everybody does that, right? So, yeah. So, I don't know. So, I was thinking about y'all yesterday and I was like, I wonder what the OG viewers are thinking about Lisa. Yeah. So, let me know. Here's something else that I, that I want to talk to y'all about. Okay. So, we know. Here, I, let me say it this way. I'm not sure if Lisa is being chemistry tested. I think Lisa's just filling in. Like I, you know, we know that every person that's been chemistry tested is giving two, given two consecutive days, right y'all? And Lisa's been there with us, what, four days? Because she hadn't been there all week, right? Let me see, what was, was it Monday or Tuesday she came? I don't know. I can't remember. I think it was Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. Tuesday through Friday was the day. Anyway, no person has been given more than two days. So to me, I, I'm, I rather think she's probably filling in on that, on that end of it because they've gone weeks and weeks and weeks without having any conservative voice at all. They've gone weeks and weeks and weeks now without chemistry testing anybody. And so I don't know if they just brought her there because they just need someone to kind of sit in while they're still trying to decide who they're going to chemistry test, test next, right, y'all? Um, so yeah, I know that on our community tab on YouTube, we were talking about, okay, because at first I was thinking she, I was thinking she was being chemistry tested. So I was saying to y'all, okay, do y'all think they should start giving these ladies more than two days? And I think a lot of you guys were saying, or maybe it was just a handful of you were saying that you as a viewer actually need more than two days for you to make up your mind about, you know, kind of how you feel about the woman. And I totally see that point. I totally do. Now, I kind of see it a little bit differently because I'm looking at it from the show's perspective, which is, 
all of the women they're bringing on to chemistry tests are, are TV veterans. You know, all of these women um, have either guest hosted on the view before. So this is not their first rodeo with the table or they've been in TV for so long that two days should be enough for you to come on here and show us what you got, you know? So for me, I'm looking at it from that perspective, but I definitely understand the other side of the coin, which is, hey, you know, a lot of us feel like we need more time, especially if it's a lady we're not really familiar with. And we know uh, everyone they brought so far, except I think for a couple of them, um, we've not really been that familiar with because a lot of us here in this community in particular, we don't watch a lot of this white right, right wing media, excuse me. And so we don't know these personalities, but these ladies that I've been doing these stories on recently that we found out <laughs> they have been trying to bring to the show. Most of us, I saw in the comments, most of you were like me. We never heard of those people before because we don't watch all that junky and trash TV, you know, where people are just spinning narratives left and right and lying left and right. And it's like still talking about the election was stolen. I mean, I don't know, guys, I don't believe we should subject ourselves to people who we know are lying. Um, I think we should have a regard for the truth to the to the point where it's like, hey, if I didn't know you were lying, that's one thing, you know, but you're not I'm not going to willingly let you lead me astray. I'm not going to willingly sit here and watch or listen to you spread a bunch of foolishness. Like, I don't think we should do that. So anyway, so at any rate, guys, I don't know. Um, I, I really don't know, but I just don't feel that Lisa's personality is open enough for her to be truly successful on a job like this. You know, it's, it's great to be friendly and it's great to, when we, when we talk about sex or whatever, to, to kind of laugh and whatever. Um, but for this, this type of work, you really need to have a more extroverted personality and, um, you can put it on sure, but it's just too stressful to be, like I said earlier, to try to be something you're not. Here's another thing. Every other woman at the table has an extroverted personality. Whoopi, Joy, Sunny, Sarah, Anna, they're all very extroverted women. I mean, you can't be in this arena successfully because you got to deal with so many people. You know, you got to have the kind of personality where you can rock and roll with anybody. And so I don't know. Again, just a reminder, I don't have anything against Lisa <laughs> for people who are going to be like, you don't listen. OK, I didn't say it ain't got anything against the girl. I'm just saying I don't think her personality is one for this long term uh, to come back in chemistry test or excuse me, to come back and guest co-host every blue moon. Sure. Sure, she could do that. But if they're looking at her long term, OK, and we're about to go into midterms and then a whole new election in 2024. OK, I just think. And then, too, she's got kids that are fairly young. I mean, are you going to want to subject your children to all the online hate that hmm, they are going to get, you know? And so I don't know, guys. I don't know. So that's what I want to find out from you guys. What are you guys? How are you feeling about Lisa this week so far? And listen, we can disagree agreeably about it. You may feel that, hey, you know, hey, her personality is effusive. It's great. It's wonderful. I don't see your point, you know, my view on the view. I get it. Listen, we're, we, we're adults. We can disagree agreeably. We don't have to all see it the same way to get along. Um, but my thing is, guys, I just really hope they're not looking at her permanently um, because I really, like I said, I think as soon as another show or one of these networks, I don't know, give her, gave her something or offered her something that was more suited to her personality, she would take it. And I mean, who could blame her, right? So guys, that's all I got. Listen, y'all be careful out there, okay? As I end the podcast, I want to just say this. You know, yesterday when I was out and about having a fun, I was talking to several people uh, in what where I was. And um, three of those people had COVID. Well, they had just come out of COVID. And you know what was crazy? Out of all of us, I was the only one who had a mask on. And I didn't say anything because, you know, I'm, I've learned that, you know, you got to let people be who they are, you know. And if you don't want to wear, wear a mask, even after you just told me you were hospitalized for two weeks and had to be on a ventilator. OK, you know, I, what can you say to people like that? You know, you can't you know, you can't say anything, you know. Um, so at any rate, so be careful, guys. We're not out of the woods yet. We're just not. I know a lot of people are exhausted. I'm exhausted, too. Um, but you know, I'll be honest with you guys. I kind of like wearing the mask. I mean, when they started talking about the flu numbers are down now and the, I'm like, I think these masks are doing great for us. You know what I'm saying? I think, I mean, you think about the things we used to do before that we were wearing masks, 
you know, people just talking right up in your face and all this like, okay, spreading all kinds of germs. You know, you ne never really thought about it to that degree and how they could be passing on things to you or vice versa. So anyway, so I, I'm still socially distancing, guys. I am still carrying my alcohol wipes with me. I am still like, um, I had a rental car the other day. I'm spraying it down with Lysol like a big dog. Like I am just doing these things because I know we're not out of the woods yet. So guys, please keep your mask on, vaccinated or not vaccinated. Please wipe your hands down in the car, wash them when you get home or to your, you know, wherever you're going. Don't, don't get too loosey goosey guys. Cause there's still, this thing is still very much happening. Okay. Well, thanks so much for listening to the podcast. I enjoy y'all so much. Listen guys, <sighs> am I going to do a formal review on Lisa? I don't know, but all I got to say is Lisa's not it. She's not the one. She's not the one in my opinion. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Leave your thoughts below. Change.